As we've said, interlocking is a set of rules that we apply to make sure that the different types of equipment are operated safely. Based on our knowledge of how the different types of equipment can be operated, let's apply these rules to our feeder circuit. At the moment, the circuit breaker and the isolator are open and the ground switch A103B is closed, so the circuit is probably under maintenance. To open ground switch A103B, we have no preconditions. Why? The circuit is grounded and isolated, so therefore, to open the ground switch under these conditions is perfectly safe. Let's now see what we need to do to prepare the circuit for energisation. Firstly, we need to close A103. As we've said previously, an isolator cannot be operated if there's any load current flowing through the circuit. Therefore, the circuit breaker A102 must be open before we close the isolator. It's also a good idea to make sure that the ground switch is also open. These conditions are both fulfilled, so let's now close the isolator. What about closing the circuit breaker itself? Well, as we know, it can take 10 to 15 seconds for an isolator to close. Therefore, we want to make sure it's fully closed before we close the circuit breaker. This precondition is met. Let's close the circuit breaker, energizing the circuit. Load current now flows from the bus bar, through the circuit breaker, and onto the feeder. Let's now reverse the sequence and see what we need to do to open the circuit breaker. As we've said previously, the circuit breaker is used to break the fault current, so therefore we don't want any preconditions for opening it. The circuit breaker has now opened, switching off the load current. Let's now open the isolator again. Again, we want to make sure the circuit breaker is open before we do this. This condition has been met, so therefore Let's open the isolator. And finally, let's close the ground switch. We don't want to do this until the circuit has been isolated. So we make sure that isolator A103 is open before we close the ground switch. We now have a set of rules for opening and closing all of the main equipment on this circuit. And we can use this information to create our electrical and mechanical interlocking.